Welcome. Let's introduce our next segment, Peyton Sorensen of the swim team. He's going to compete in the 50 and 100 free in Omaha next week at the U.S. Olympic Trials. Peyton, well, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Good to be here. Now, uh, what? let's get your answer to this Twitter question before we dive into uh, you. In the spirit of Cleveland getting a title, what's the biggest monkey on BYU's back, in your opinion? Um, maybe getting them to play us in basketball again. I don't know, but we definitely need to beat them in football. I think that's the biggest. Utah. So beat Utah. Thing. Yeah. Don't beat Utah. Yeah. 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 And, and you luckily, can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah. In fact, you can go right, which is uh, my opinion. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's let's talk about you and swimming. We were just talking about the mighty Mountain View Toros of Mesa, Arizona. Now Max Hall, John Beck, and then we we're talking about Peyton Dastrup. You swam with Peyton Dastrup yeah. of Men's Hoops, who I believe was on the show what Friday. Friday. Yeah. The the. Yeah. We're now back-to-back uh, shows of Mountain with View an Toros. in-studio guest from Mountain View named, named Peyton. Peyton. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes. What was Peyton Dastrup like as a swimmer? Um, well, we always kind of competed with who was going to be taller. He's a couple years younger than me, and he's he was always a little bit taller than me, so it always mm. bugged me. But I was always better than him at swimming, <laughs> unfortunately. You got him in the swim category. Yeah. Right? How tall are you? I'm 6'5". 6'5", okay. And he sprouted, I think, to 6'9". He's still beating me with height. Yeah, maybe 6'10". Yeah, he's 6'10". He said on Friday he's 6'10". Maybe he, Everyone says yeah. he looks a little taller. They have to get out the measuring tape. Yeah, right? which yeah. they're probably doing today, actually. Yeah, exactly. So, now, as a swimmer, I, now, this is this is one of those times I, I – we have football players on, we have basketball players on, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't play collegiate basketball or, or high school basketball or football. I was a high school swimmer. So I feel like you and I are like on the same page here. Uh, I get that a lot. <laughs> now, I, was, I feel like it's like the pity sport almost. <laughs> what? what? No, of course not. That, that was cross country and that was for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's the deal. I was a freestyle guy. What, what are your events? What, is the, what are the events that you'll be swimming uh, as, you, as you go to these Olympic trials? So I'm a sprint freestyler as well. So I'll be swimming in the 50 and 100 freestyle. And I was close to getting a 100 backstroke cut, but mm. I don't swim that enough. So That would have been three from BYU, right? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. So 50 and 100, you are, you are the fastest of the fastest, right? When, when did you know that, okay, I'm pretty good at uh, freestyle? Um, like recently or? In, in your life, when were you like, hey, I can, I can swim pretty fast? Well, um, in high school, uh, my freshman year, I swam backstroke. That was my stroke. And then going into my sophomore year, that's when I started getting really fast at freestyle. And my junior and senior year, I won the 50 freestyle. So I was, I was like, okay, I can do this. Started getting more confidence and came back from my mission last June. And the speed never really left me and just kind of stayed there. And I felt good coming into my sophomore year, getting back into it. What's your time? Uh, my best time... Short course is a 19.29. Um, my cut that I got to go to the trials was a 22.8. Hmm. So where do you? So what is your ranking? Where do you rank right now? Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm in the the 40s and the 50, but with the 50, it's very it's very small time increments of how far you can move up. So I'm looking to go a 21 high to mid hopefully and where going would, forward where would that put you uh well i know nathan adrian has already gone a 21 so if i can get in that ballpark ba- ballpark i will be able to do really well so. what does that mean to you to uh be invited to omaha uh, to participate in the u.s olympic trials that's pretty cool it's pretty nerve-wracking i mean i've never competed th- at that level before um it's going to be great just to be in that atmosphere because everyone's going to be competing at their best level. There's athletes that have gone multiple years to that now, and I know that they are definitely going to be at the top of their game. So I'm just hoping to stay positive and just go and enjoy the environment. And if I know, I know if I can do that, that I'll be able to do my best race. So, what's a typical practice schedule for you? Because I'm not sure people realize how much time. You guys actually spend in the pool. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know you guys have talked to the other swimmers in here about it. It's pretty. It's BYU pretty swim gruesome. nation now, Peyton. It's <laughs> yeah. The, we do swimming all the time. It's pretty like. gruesome. Um, we start at 5:30 in the morning, and mm. it's typically two-hour practices, and then we usually have two a days. So 
another two hour practice in the afternoon. It's it's brutal. Like for some reason, I feel like you guys practice more than anyone else for whatever reason. But we we've asked this question to a couple of people: Are you more comfortable in the water or on land? <laughs> I think I'm pretty even. Yeah. Yeah, I've always <laughs> been pretty good at other sports, so I enjoy the opportunity to go play other sports just because it's a nice break from all the practice in the pool. Um, so you don't want to go to Seven Peaks after this with us? Uh, maybe. That's a different aspect of it. <laughs> I'd enjoy going down some slides and stuff. There you go. See, I remember never getting used to constantly smelling like chlorine. Are, are you used to that? Is that just second nature now? I I'm never used got to used to it. to it. I mean, even on my mission, it probably took me – eight months for that smell to go away probably <laughs> your companions are like what's that cologne like, you're using why do you smell like a pool still are you sneaking yeah. off <laughs> <laughs> like you can't you know you can't swim right like yeah. it's the one sport like you can't do it right? uh Peyton Sorensen of BYU Swimming is on BYU Sports Nation he'll be in the Olympic trials next week My, Michael Phelps will be at the trials right like he's yeah. the, all the big people are gonna the be there people. is that is that a situation where you tr- you try and like get a picture with him or something I don't do know you, I've never been big see, on that no we like get to... one for me then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm... Okay. Give me, give me like a cardboard cutout of you, and I'll <laughs> yeah, yeah. go stand by. We like, actually Who's... have that. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, we have actually, one of those. Uh, yeah, it's over there. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's exciting or embarrassing, really. Yeah, but... that's a question that a lot of people have asked about that exact uh, cardboard uh, on there. But uh, do you hope to uh, try and like if he's in one of the prelims with you? Would that be something that would be uh, I don't know memorable for you? Or, or well, just yeah. Do? I don't think he's going to be in, in my events necessarily, but mm. there's I'm hoping to swim against Nathan Adrian mm. and some of the other top 50 freestylers. There you go. What uh, what do you think are realistic expectations for you and, and you know for the other swimmers, the other B-Way swimmers that will be there? What what's what are you guys hoping to turn this into? Well, hopefully we'll be able to go and represent the school well, and if – Hopefully, some of us will be able to be in the final heats and maybe even make the team and get interviewed from that, and it'll be a positive, positive thing for them as an individual and for BYU as a whole. Well, good luck. That's very exciting. Uh, we hope to see you. Uh, I believe those will be streamed at least online. I think NBC does. They televise some of it as well. So yeah. we'll uh, we'll pump that out next week. If you don't mind, sign the the Rise Up flag of behind us. There and then uh, we'll give you the BYU Sports Nation karma. Try and get to 21, like you mentioned. Peyton Sorensen, he'll be in the uh, U.S. Olympic Trials next week. Several Cougars in that. That's I- exciting. It'll be, yeah, it'll be fun to see how everybody yeah. does. It'd be awesome if someone qualified for the Olympics, but to me, just getting to the trials is pretty good, especially, what, a year off your mission, you said? Uh-huh. A year off his mission. <laughs>